everyone, Grammy Lumpet here for another exciting edition of Grammy Tales. Today, we're going to find out all about the new digs for the Historical Society here in Lakeville. So I'm supposed to go in there and meet their president, Diane Lamb. Isn't she going to be surprised to meet Grammy Lumpet, the rabbit? <laughs> Let's go in and find her. Come on. Oh, Diane! Diane, Madam President, where are you? No. Oh, there you are. Hi, Dan. It's Grammy. Hi, Grammy. It's nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, too, dear. And, oh, I just love the new Historical Society digs. Can you tell us a little bit about this room right here? Well, this is one of our display rooms, Grammy. Okay. And we have two display rooms. And this one has some things about Antlers Park and about Weichselbaum's Resort and some churches and a school. So it has lots of things from Lakeville a long time ago. Very good. Now, are you going to be changing these uh, different presentation areas? Like, like over here, you have something from Antlers Park. Uh, are you going to have that a permanent display, or are you going to be able to you know, change things out as, as you get more stuff? Oh, we're not going to make anything permanent. We're going to change things. Otherwise, no one will want to come and see the displays because they'll be the same every day. Very true. Now, when you guys moved in here, how long did it take you to actually move from the old, uh, what was that, the rectory into this, this area? This must have been fantastic to be able to move in here. It was a lot of work, Grammy. It took us about just one day to move everything in, but then in about two weeks, we were ready for the open house. So it took us about two weeks to get everything put up. Very good. Now, so this is the, the, the bigger of the two rooms. So you have the display that we talked about over here, and then you have some military things over there. Oh, I see more things. Oh, back there. Could we go back there, Diane? We can. All right, let's head on up. Here we go. Oh, and now we've moved into the second large display area. Oh, there's some very large display things. There's, there's a sign, and there's a big tree back there, Diane. What's that from? That's a tree that was found on a farm and it was buried way far down in the ground, mm -hmm. and they've decided it is over 500,000 years old. Wow, how did you guys get that in here when you made well, the move? We got it in the door, but then we had to cut a hole in the ceiling Ooh. to make it fit, otherwise it took up too much room in here. I was hoping maybe there'd be a tree house up there that we could <laughs> climb into. That would be fun. It would be fun, and uh, this is one of my favorite displays about the Lakeville Creamery. Well, Lakeville was a really famous place where they made butter and they got all kinds of awards. And the pictures up there show several of the creameries that were in Lakeville at one time. But there are lots of things that they did here and one of them was get lots of awards. Princess Kay of the Milky Way even came to Lakeville to give an award for the butter making. Oh, Diane, what's this room in here? It looks like there's a TV monitor with a bunch of little different pictures. What, what is this area? This is our newest part of the Historical Society and it's really exciting because people can come in here and sit down yes. and they can watch the little segments that were once produced on the cable channel by the city of Lakeville. Oh, yeah, by LGTV. I love those segments. They're They've never done one on me, though. <laughs> but let's see, how, why don't we show them how it works? So there's an iPad over here, and let's say, oh, hit the one where it says the blacksmith Bob Christensen. You see that one? Oh, it's that easy. And now hit the arrow, and then, look at that! TV! <laughs> Amazing. So people who come to the Historical Society here can view, oh, I bet you there's lots and lots of historical there, videos about Lakeville. There are lots of them, and hopefully we're going to produce some more. I think that's a great idea. Did you hear that, Tim? you got to produce some more. <laughs> hey, can we go over and look at your work area, Diane? That's a great idea. All right, this way. Ooh, private volunteers only. Can we get inside there, Diane, and see what's going on in there? I think you can come in here, Grammy. This is where the jail cells were when this was the police station. Ah! I'm just kidding you. You guys have fixed it up in here. Oh, let's open it up here so our camera guy can get in here. And now this is our storage area. Oh, what a mess. But look at all the cool stuff in here. I'm guessing this is stuff for future exhibits that you'd like to put together? It is, and it is kind of a mess because when we opened, we didn't get it all cleaned up yet. 
Mm -hmm. But we're working on it. Well, history is kind of a mess, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And we have to save some things for different holidays and different parts of the year. So they all go in here. Oh, very good. Well, it's great to have a good storage place for all your exhibits and uh, uh, items, correct? It is. And it's cool in here, too, isn't it? Good. Very cool. <laughs> we have now moved into the work area here at the Historical Society, and I see you've got some computers and uh, big files. What are in these filing cabinets, Diane? Well, remember, Grammy, I said people donate things to us? Yes. And this, these are all kinds of pictures and newspaper clippings, things that we use when we make displays. Oh, could we open up B and see what's in B? J j just, just see what's in there. We could. Let's see. Oh, so what's in here? Well, everything is in alphabetical order. That's and important. See, there's one about baseball because there was a really important baseball team in Lakeville. Oh, I heard time. something about Bullock. Could you just tell me what's in Bullock? Right over here. Oh. Is there a picture that you can pull out there? Um. Ooh. Well, there so is now no is picture. this something? You can bring that out. That's okay. great. Let so, me see what. Bullock was a really important airman in Lakeville. Sure. And there's a picture of him. So some of the things you keep in the cabinets aren't just pictures, but maybe news articles, press clippings, and anything that kind of relates to a particular subject on Lakeville history. That's exactly right. Sometimes we have little small books that we can put in here, things that'll, anything that'll fit in the file cabinet. Excellent. Can I tell you something? Yes. I love your flower. Thank you. Show it to the camera, dearie. <laughs> Sure, see? see? Isn't that lovely? Where'd you get it? I love them myself. Someone made it. Oh, I knew it. I could see the handy <laughs> handiwork immediately. Well, Diane, I want to thank you so much for taking us on, on a pretty quick tour, but I think the important thing is getting the word out so people know that you're here. So, again, where are you located and what's the hours and how do we get a hold of you? Well, we are located in the Heritage Center, so we are here with the Senior Center and the Yellow Ribbon Society. And that's right across from City Hall. That's correct, and, and we are open on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh, excellent. But if you ever want to call us, you just have to call 952-985-4680. Very good, and what's your home number so I can call you so I can get one of those flowers? <laughs> well, I, maybe I can make one for you, Grammy. Oh, that would be great. Well, let's go back to the work area and get right to that. Diane, thank you so much for your time today. See you next time, folks, on Grammy Tales. Come on, let's get that flower going.